If you're not someone who's been playing on the Russian servers for the past three years, I can basically guarantee that there's going to be something in this video that you don't know and can take and implement into your gameplay. It doesn't matter what class you're playing, this entire video is going to apply to you, but if you want more class specific videos, I can get into that later, just let me know down below. But first off, I want to get into something that my Twitch chat has brought up multiple times. If you're interested in the stream, it's down in the description, but basically I just wanted to clarify that the arena is basically a completely separate game which means that your gear does not apply here and you're going to set up your abilities and skills before going in so it's essentially skill versus skill and only one thing outside the arena can be brought in to make sure you have this one thing in your inventory and you're not being left behind, you're going to want to go ahead and visit a general merchant. When you're talking to the general merchant, you're going to want to stack up on chaos shards. If you noticed while you were setting up your abilities, you have something called an awakening ability. What this is, is essentially a really powerful ultimate ability that requires these chaos shards to cast. These abilities tend to be on a really long cooldown, so if you want to bring them into the arena, you basically only get one shot at using them. Needless to say, you want to make sure that you don't completely whiff this ability. So to make sure that you use these effectively, you want to learn the ins and out of how CC works so that you can set up these abilities. The CC in this game is kind of complicated and is basically the lifeblood of PvP in this game. So you're going to want to make sure that you know the ins and outs of this. I'm going to go over it later in this video. But first, let's talk about explosives and poultry. Some of these arenas that you're going to go into are going to have items that spawn in the middle of them. The first one is going to be dynamite. What dynamite is going to do is you're going to pick it up and be able to throw it at your enemies and it's going to do damage to them, stunning them and applying a burn to them. The second item is chicken and you're going to want to really keep your eye out for it. All you have to do to use the chicken is just walk up and pick it up and what it's going to do is immediately replenish a significant amount of your health. You can take this to get the benefit for yourself, but if you don't need it, you can take it just to make sure that your enemies don't have it and use it to switch the momentum of the fight. Keep an eye on the health bars on the sides of your screen to help you give an overall feel for everyone's health. This is going to help you know who to prioritize in fights and in close games, enemies who are low will sometimes even try to hide out until the game ends, so that way you can know if it's like a one point difference you can just go and hunt down the person that's low all right so let's move back over to abilities there is going to be a base structure to all abilities that you're going to want to know it's going to let you know which ability to use and when to use it to be the most effective looking at the descriptions of the abilities you may see a few things your ability can have an attack type tied to it for instance you can have a back attack which is going to give you five percent bonus damage and ten percent increased crit chance while you're attacking somebody from the back and there's also frontal attack which is going to do 20% more damage and 10% increased stagger damage when you're attacking somebody from the front. But more importantly, what you're going to want to look out for is staggers and super armors. This is because chaining and comboing your CC and damage abilities is going to be essentially what makes you a good player at Lost Ark. So both staggers and super armors are going to come in different levels. Basically, any attack in the game is going to have a tier one stagger tied to it. Some of them don't, but most of them are going to. The tier one stagger can be a soft stagger, which is going to stagger enemies while they're walking or auto attacking, but it's not going to interrupt their abilities. But there's also tier one staggers that can be a hard stagger which means that it is able to interrupt certain abilities to know which abilities are protected against these interrupts you're going to want to look at the skills description and if it has super armor at all it's not going to be interrupted by any of the tier one staggers the most basic super armor that you're going to see is paralysis immunity and this only protects you from tier one staggers the next level up from this is going to be the push immunity super armor if the ability has this tied to it it's going to be immune to both tier one and tier two staggers and if you see anybody that is highlighted in yellow that means that they have this push immunity active any ability that has the word knock in its description is going to be a tier two stagger so essentially knock ups knock downs and knock backs moving on to tier three staggers these are going to be status effects like freezes shocks stuns earthquakes stuff like that to not be affected by these you're going to need an ability with an all immunity super armor on it if someone is hit with a tier 3 CC successfully, they're going to get a 7 second immunity to tier 3 CC. This is going to be represented by a bar above their head as well as a bubble around them. If you see this, don't waste any of your tier 3 CC abilities on them. There is some more UI related mechanics that you're going to see right below the health bars. 
To the left, you're gonna see the star, which is gonna give you more damage when you're ahead. And to the right, you're gonna see the shield, which is damage reduction if you've died recently. The fuller the yellow and the blue bars underneath your health are, the more effective these buffs are gonna be. If while you're casting your abilities, you manage to get somebody locked down by tier one staggers for three seconds, they're gonna get knocked down immediately and get a scale icon that's gonna show above their head. What this means is that as they stand up, they're gonna be completely immune to CC during the standing up animation. Some abilities are actually gonna apply multiple types of stagger. For instance, the shotgun dominator ability is gonna cause a tier one stagger for the early attacks, but the final shot is gonna knock down the enemies, which is a tier two stagger. Another thing that you're going to want to keep an eye on is your tripods, and this is because certain abilities are going to have tripods that are going to increase the effectiveness of their immunities or the effectiveness of their staggers. These are basically always a good pick to take. Adding a little bit of additional defense to your kit, you're going to want to know that if you're knocked down, you're actually going to have a different ability that's similar to your standing jump. When you press spacebar while you're knocked down, you're actually going to be able to roll out of the knockdown. This only works for knockdowns, not staggers or status effects. Just like your standing jump, this ability's cooldown is gonna appear above your hotbar on the bottom of your screen, and both your standing jump and your roll are gonna have a tier three immunity. Your awakenings are also gonna have tier three immunities. If you feel a bit overwhelmed with this all, it's okay, you don't have to go and memorize every single ability out of the gate. Just by playing, you're gonna realize which classes have a little bit more immunities to them and which ones don't. For instance, sometimes classes like the Berserker and the Striker seem to just be able to walk through any attack that you throw at them. If you want a base understanding of the classes and what abilities they have at your disposal, I actually covered every single class in these videos here. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check it out. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe as well as check out the Twitch stream down in the description below. My name is Marcus and thanks for watching.